Jet Set Radio is a video game that came out in the year 2000. I never played it, but I did play a little bit of the sequel that came out in 2002 called Jet Set Radio Future. You play as a little skater guy, you're a little roller skater, you skate around town, you tag up the city, you cause a havoc, you're a hooligan, a menace to society, and the cops are chasing after you, so you gotta skate away from the cops. But I'm not here to talk about the video game, okay? I'm not Nakey Jakey, I don't talk about video games, okay? I just copied his style to talk about music. And that's what I'm gonna do today. Today I'm gonna be talking about the soundtrack for Jet Set Radio and Jet Set Radio Future. It is the best video game soundtrack that I've ever heard. I haven't heard a lot of video game soundtracks in my life. However, I know that this is the best. The soundtracks of these video games were made by a Japanese composer named Hideki Naganuma, aka the CEO of Funky Fresh Beats, aka according to the YouTube comments of these soundtracks, the king of samples. And if you take one listen to these songs, you'll realize that this guy is truly the king of samples. He uses a large variety of awesome vocal samples in these songs. I've been such a sucker for sampling lately. I started listening to the books, and then I got into the avalanches, and now I listen to Fortet and the Chemical Brothers and all these bands that use really great sampling techniques and it all led me to this moment to sit down here and talk about Hideki Naganuma to you guys. I haven't been able to figure this out and I'm curious if you guys know let me know. Is the instrumentals to the songs samples or no? Like does he just sample vocal samples or does he also sample like instrumentals? I'm not sure if the entire album is built off of samples. It'd be really cool if it is. There's such a great variety of styles in these albums. You got so many different grooves right? You got you got some like dance grooves, you got techno grooves, you got funk grooves, you got like like hip hop type grooves, you got like rock type grooves. You just got every type of groove that you want and just one healthy mix of a salad that you go and you eat. And this it's a small salad, it's only like a 30 minute salad. So you <laughs> so you wanna go back and you wanna get more of that salad. So you just keep listening to it. At least that's what I did. <laughs> the first soundtrack starts off with Let Mom, Mom Sleep, which is a great start to the soundtrack. You got great energy coming off of here, getting you ready to become a menace to society. There's a great like horn tracks in it. Would you stop playing with that radio of yours? I'm trying to get some sleep. Bam, 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 bam. And slide, and slide. So fun. That's a great way to describe all these songs off this album, by the way, is fun. Uh, <laughs> and when it goes into humming the bass line, obviously if you're gonna have bass line in the title of the song, you're gonna have a great bass line. Like a funky hip hop type groove. Probably my favorite vocal sample of this track is the What a trouble. What a, what a trouble move. And then it goes into that's enough. You better watch out. They're coming at you. Oh, oh. <laughs> really great drums in that track, by the way. I love the almost kind of beatbox type beat. Boots and cats and boots and cats. And Sneak Man is also another great one. Kind of gets you in the mood to like go on a mission. <laughs> Throughout the entire song, you got this guy going, it's a tough job, but someone's got to do it. Am I that someone? Do I, do I gotta do this job? <laughs> sweet Soul Brother is also another great track. He's a sweet soul brother. Fun guitars going on in it and a nice fun little organ also happening in it. And then you got Rocket On, which the only thing I gotta say about Rocket On is Rock that shit, homie! Shit, homie! Shit, homie! Rock, rock that shit, homie! And the last track of this thing, Grace and Glory, has this vocal sample of someone singing like me. I don't even know what the premise of this game really is, but I feel like this track, Race and Glory, is this track that would play at like the climax of the video game where you're about to beat it and it's like, oh shit, I'm I'm escaping the police or something. <laughs> and then Jet Set Radio Future, the sequel, is the game that I played a little bit of and it's also got another great soundtrack. I recognize two songs off of this album. The first one I recognize is the first song off the album, The Concept of Love. Understand? Understand? Uh, I probably recognize it because it's the, I think it's the main menu track. There's this like spiraling, circling guitar riff that kind of goes out throughout it. And then what's great about the Jet Set Radio Future soundtrack is that it's like, it still has like the same vibe almost of the first soundtrack, but it's it's definitely like an expansion of it, right? Like it's not just the cut and paste of everything that he did in the first soundtrack. He explores with more different styles of music, I think. Like in Fly, like a butterfly. Like almost kind of like techno electronic type thingy. There's a lot of crazy weird sounds that are happening. 
That's what it feels like. <laughs> and we got Funky Dealer, which is a funky track. Has one of my favorite vocal samples in the entire album. The I'm a winner. I got out. Hey, place your bets, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> and then there's also a lot of fun horns that are happening throughout that track. Some like bass breaks and stuff. And then Shape the Future and Techno Pathetic are both like more techno songs. Uh, I keep saying techno. I don't really listen to a lot of techno though. So I, I think this is what techno sounds like. Techno Pathetic has like some fun vocal effects that are happening throughout the song. Got this. Uh, like robotic guy that's going like stop playing games. <laughs> One of my favorite parts about the Jesse Radio Future soundtrack is the fact that there's remixes of the original songs off of the first soundtrack that are on this soundtrack. I think some of these are done by Hideki Naganuma, but I think some of them are done by different people. One of my favorite remixes is probably the Humming the Bassline remix, probably because that's the other song that I recognize from this video game. Really does this get you in the mood to skate, huh? Get up, get up, get down, get down. I could totally see myself skating around the town, causing a havoc, becoming a hooligan. And another good remix off of this soundtrack is the Rocket On remix. It's a six and a half minute remix. The original song is only like two and a half minutes. So you get a nice long mix of it. So that's uh that's uh that's uh the Jet Set Radio soundtracks. That's done by Hideki Naganuma. I haven't listened to a lot of his other stuff. I know he's done a lot of other stuff for Sega. He's done like the Sonic soundtracks, he did something for Ollie King. And he's still around today. I don't know if he's still making music. He probably is. He's the CEO of Funky Fresh Beats, but uh, I don't know how often he's making those Funky Fresh Beats, but hopefully he's making them often. I don't know. Like I said, I love the soundtrack. I've been listening to it a lot over the past month. It's been like non-stop on play. Super fun soundtrack, really. I'm always jamming to it. Like, I'm never not bopping my head as I'm listening to the soundtrack. So if you haven't listened to it, I recommend that you do. But like I said, there's a healthy mix of everything in here. A lot of different genres, a lot of different styles. Dig into that salad, that 30 minute salad. See what you like. Maybe you only like the olives. Maybe you only like the lettuce. Maybe you only like the tomatoes. Pick it apart and then see what you like. Or maybe you like the whole thing and then go back for seconds. If you're new around here, I'd really appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button. We talk about music a lot here. We're, we're music people here. Let me know your thoughts on the soundtrack. I'm sure you guys probably have some thoughts about it if you listen to it. I think that's it. I think we're ready to clock out here. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.